Secondary productivity is going to relate to consumers. So we're talking about animals now. Um, it is measured as the growth rate of the animal. So typically in like kilograms per unit time or something like that, or kilograms per meter squared, if we're talking about, I don't know how many bugs are in a field. Um, the, it'll generally vary based on the age of the animal. And then other things that you know that affect um, weight gain and weight loss is the food in and the amount of energy expended. And you can think of energy expended as how much respiration is being done. All right, so with an animal, we're also gonna talk about net secondary productivity, gross secondary productivity, and respiration. Net secondary productivity is gonna be based on the weight gain of the animal. And the weight gain of the animal depends on um, how much energy it's taking in and how, much, how many calories it's burning. The GSP is the amount of energy taken in. And the amount of energy taken in depends on literally how much food goes in versus how much feces goes out. So food minus feces, the difference in those two masses tells you how many grams the animal took in or how many kilograms the animal took in. And net secondary productivity can also be easily measured as the weight gain of the animal. That doesn't say animal. And then respiration is calculated. Now you're gonna go take a look at a video that summarizes the two calculations, the difference between productive primary and secondary, gross and net. 